Hey guys, I'm out here on the range and it's one of those days where it's actually pretty calm. A little bit of wind, not too bad. So I'm going to show you some groups out at 110 yards. I was messing around earlier with the tunes, so there are some marks on the targets. But you're going to see this via scope cam happen live. So that is not too bad. That's not adjusting for wind at all. Now, as the groups change, let's adjust a little and see if we can keep it tighter. <laughs> and keep in mind, guys, this is pellets straight from the tin. So there is going to be some variation, but at 110 yards, that's freaking eight ring all day long. Well, that one got away. Back up in there. That's a whole magazine. So I don't know what you guys think, but straight from the tin, that's pretty darn good. Usually I sort my pellets because you have weight differentials and you get a little up and down variation. And uh, sometimes the skirts are dinged up, so you gotta watch out for those. Uh, I didn't even do that this time. We'll go paint it, do it one more time just for fun. Um, I think on that lower target, you'll be able to see those pellets literally arcing in. Um, it's kind of proof of range, pretty cool. And then, uh, we'll get into the specifics of the gun, get a little air, repaint, see you in a minute. All right, guys, here's the close up view and that I actually lost track of how many shots that is, but it's about three fingers wide. Um, we did have that one come down here, but again, straight from the tin. So what are you going to do? But that gives you an idea of the consistency, uh, all of those shots would, be landing in the seven ring or better most of them in the eight um once i started to adjust a little bit you got really i think that's four different impacts right there um pretty cool let's do it, do it again so we are all painted up loaded up let's go one more time at this and uh try and get most of it in the view here now believe it or not air guns are the opposite of firearms in terms of warming up what we're actually doing is cooling the barrel down uh the compressed air has a chilling effect so i just want to fire a few to get the gun back so it's operating temperature now obviously hunting those are good enough you don't need to worry about it but for uh competition we're talking about millimeters, so it matters. All right, let's fire a group on this head here. Oh man, I left that one up a little bit. This gun is amazing. Again, that's 110 yards, guys. Further than extreme bench rest in our man.
So, as I said before, these are straight from the tin, which means they're not sorted for weight. And what you'll get when they're not sorted for weight is some vertical stringing, um, sometimes a little horizontal, sometimes one will just go absolutely crazy. Um, if you guys have watched my competition videos, you know I'm a big believer in weighing my pellets and sorting for damaged skirts. And uh, frankly, it's the last thing in the world I actually want to do. So I never do it for practice. Um, and then when I shoot at a competition, I just know that I have to do it because I truly believe that it's worth five to 10 points on the target. Um, actually just last year, <laughs> I came in fourth and uh, I did sort and I did weigh, but there must've been an air bubble in one. I had one flyer ruin my target. Uh, would have been a second place finish all the way down to fourth. So something to keep in mind. Put it here. Out of the tin, that's just incredible. And again, 110 yards. I hope you guys can see them. Like I can see the pellets in the flight. Wow. So I'm not here to just push uh, FX rifles. <laughs> I'm here just practicing, but if that doesn't make you a believer, uh, I don't know what does. It's incredible consistency. Let's go over the gun a little bit in terms of what's on it. Um, we've got standard magazine. Um, we have the monopod from Saber Tactical. I absolutely love that thing. I've also got the adjustable uh, butt pad, adjustable cheek pad, that gets me exactly where I want to be when I set up, get on the gun. Now, this huge rail on here is the Air Marksman uh, rail backbone. I love it because what it does is it makes it one solid piece all the way through. So no matter how hard you lean on the gun, you're not going to flex it at all. Um, I also have the Air Marksman tank on there because that's a 700cc bad boy. Um, just a ton of shots. I haven't even counted up yet, but um, on my current tune, it's over three full magazines. At the AccuTac bench rest model, the Sabre Tactical bottom rail, a Ronin Donnie FL, and uh, the Valdata on top. The Valdata uh, was my choice for bench because I've got all the way up to 28 magnification. It makes a huge difference uh, for seeing the holes in the paper. The hammer settings. All right there, so you can copy that if you like. The first reg is set at 150 bar, and the second reg, uh, or the final reg right there is exactly 100 bar. It's a really calm tune that lets the gun recoil and be happy. If you can hear the gun going off in the video, it's just, there's a, calmness about it we'll say recoils like a 22 yet it's a 30 caliber and we're shooting those pellets 870 feet per second absolutely <laughs> awesome uh the other thing that i'll mention forgot to say earlier i do have a carbon fiber sleeve over the liner um i believe that helps stiffen it and make it more consistent and I think the results speak for themselves uh, on target. And, you know, extreme bench rest is 75 yards. RMAC and Northeast Airgun Classic are at 100. They, uh, those last 10 yards we're shooting here are big yards because it's about as bad as it can be, right? We're over open water. Um, and from 100 to 110, the pellet is slowing down so much. It's crazy. But, uh, I hope that you uh, dug the, the candid groups with uh, scope cam going and 
the breakdown of the rifle. If you have any other questions, happy to answer them. But in terms of what am I going to be running at comp this year, you're looking at it. Friggin' awesome. Perfect. Perfect. Three, two, done. Done, done.